Welcome to Foundry, my name is Nilaus and this is a showcase of an upcoming factory game releasing on Steam in Early Access later on. Uh, for the Steam Next Fest they've released a publicly available demo and that's the one I'm going to play here. I played this uh, version of this game in an alpha version about a year ago and I enjoyed it quite a bit. So this is another look at how it works and uh, just helping to build up some hype for more uh, games in the factory genre that we just so love here on the channel. The short description of this is that it's a voxel-based factory builder, so taking things from said factory and Factorio and merging them together. Also very much like Tectonica that we played recently as well. But it has its own unique quirks and uh, features that we're going to be looking into. In short, what's the change since the last time we played it? Well, uh, for the parts available in the demo, it looks like there's mainly about polish, smoothness of play, a uh, little bit more sort of uh, tutorializing. And uh, from the tech tree, we can also see that it has expanded a lot deeper, but that's not available to, in the demo. So we'll have to look into early access uh, for that. Uh, right, let's dive into the game. And if you enjoy these uh, first or maybe even second look uh, on uh, new games, upcoming games, then uh, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then we can dive in. So here we are, already it is a little bit of a different way of starting. We are actually starting with a little bit of animation and a little bit of story and that kind of thing. It's very nice. Let's see if it works. And there should even be a narrator now. Welcome operator. I'm Carl, your facility management artificial intelligence. Sometimes My would be goal nice, actually. is to assist you in setting up a factory. Let's run a few basic checks before we get started. Can Open your map that? to check your surroundings. Fantastic. There are several ore patches in the vicinity. Equip your ore scanner from the inventory and use it to locate the ore patches. All right, so the first thing is really tutorialized. So if you've seen the game before, you will see that they had kind of has a new style. Uh, these, these trees and foliage and all that stuff looks a lot better. It still has a very distinct style, uh, very cartoonish, maybe even a bit like World of Warcraft-ish. Uh, I like it, it's fine. Uh, it gets the job done. Also sort of the perspective on the, that the, it gets a little bit paler, hazier as it goes further away. I like that. There is, there was a planet. There was a gigantic planet up here somewhere. Oh well, uh, we're going to be just getting started on the very first things. So this is uh, basically, it's called Xenoferrite and Technum, but I mean, under any other circumstances, we can call it iron and copper. So we're going to be mining some of this in order to get a little bit going off the, the first one. And uh, if we look at our map, we can see that there's some Technomore here. And we are at a location where we have some Xenoferrite, iron and copper. With the initial hand mined ore, we can just insert it here. And inserted here, we have some melters attached to our little landing pod so we can get started. And that gives us very much satisfactory-esque. It gives us some rods and it gives us some plates and we need to get 10 of each. We can now pick up, there, we got now it. Now that we have basic materials available, we should start crafting building blocks which act as a foundation for other buildings. To do so, you need to open the crafting menu and click the desired items. Then place them in the shape of a platform next to one of the ore patches. Next to one of the ore patches. So we just need to find the ore patches again. That's here. And then uh, we want to make sure that everything gets built on the same level. So I'm going to build here. And that should be fine. So to there we go. To ore extraction, we need to set up a drone miner. Craft one and place it on top of your foundation right next to the ore patch. And let's see, craft a drone miner. And that should be here. Why is it not there? Uh, craft a drone miner. Let's uh, go grab some more stuff. Uh, put more stuff in, get more stuff out, put more stuff in, get more stuff out. And up here, let's see if we can build a drone miner. There we go, that's a drone miner. And that will be built... Oh, it just needs to build all the subcomponents, the machinery parts and the electric components. Those are just being handcrafted as subcomponents. And once we have that, we are going to get it in here. So we're going to build several of these and they are really interesting the way that things have been built and which i really like in terms of uh, how this works as a uh, drone as miners a and here. most other buildings require power to power. function let's build a biomass generator on the same foundation as the drone miner once built you need to harvest some plants and trees with your mining drill to collect biomass insert the biomass into the generator and it will start to power all buildings on the same foundation as the generator and the generator goes here and the generator will now be placed i'll place it up here so it's less in the way 
And this, so what I wanted to say was that these have panels. So instead of opening a menu like you do in Satisfactory and sort of go out of it, you stay in the first view of, in the first person perspective. And uh, we can just click here. And then we just insert watch all of biofuel. Your first and this one works. Or. And it gets Aren't they beautiful? Whoop. There you Anyways, go. we need to get going. Two. Let's build a smelter. Three. Next. Four. Nice. And we need to build a smelter nearby. That means we need more. Uh, that was weird. Uh, we can luckily deconstruct things very easily. And I am going to build it. Oh, that's not good. not easy. Because I want one, two, three, four. And then the smelter needs to be here. Right. I need more of this. And now let's build the smelter. The smelter. I'll build things four away because that's what I know is going to be the right thing. So one, two, three, four. Maybe I don't even need to build it far away. Doesn't matter. We can easily move it. I'm going to build it here. Is more efficient than the inbuilt drop pod smelter, so you should start so using this from now up. on. Another benefit and then, is that we can automate the smelters to make our life easier. There. For this, you need to connect the drone miner to a smelter by using loaders and conveyor belts. Loaders and conveyor belts. That's why we're here, and uh, that will be brought in. Ah, oh, I already misplaced it. Doesn't matter. It's easy to replace, and this is also what. Uh, a big part of this is also just to show how easy it is to work because that's kind of one of the big strengths of this game is that how easy it is actually to manipulate it in terms of sort of moving things around and changing uh, changing things. So now we get to the actual factory part and that's the factory part is uh, making some inserters and making some uh, conveyors. We need 20 conveyors, that's uh, kind of a lot. Let's get those ready. And so we need to hook it up. There we go. This has been. Uh, it looks like you understand the basics of factory building. Here. Congratulations! To advance, we need to start our research program. It will help us unlock new technologies to improve and grow our factory. All right. So what have we done here? Research server to get started. Shut up. So, this is a loader. It's actually an inserter, and this puts out on the belt, and this takes out belt. And they are, since they kind of come loader than from Sectorio, if you play with dodos they will have like infinite capacity so they will be putting out as fast as they go in and uh, they will here so this kind of completely locks these together this goes from here hook up all of these ports uh, can be accessed so uh, very easy basically anywhere can be accessed uh, that's generally the idea you put it out on a belt and then move with the belt over here and then put it back in and that means they're now getting automatically in here that means a little bit the first little bit of uh, automize, uh, automation here now, if we go back and look at here, where we have the other part, uh, where was that? Where was the Technomore? There's the one, the Cinefer, there's the Technomore. We really want those two to connect and uh, set up a similar mining on the other location. Probably, I'd like to build one more uh, smelter here, because this can, if we look at it here, it says 64 in the last minute. That means uh, if we look at this, all the ratios are here. It consumes 20, so let's just say that this can consume or can support uh, three of these uh, smelters next to each other. So let's start by building three of those to support uh, this uh, this miner. All right, so I took these out because it's actually easier to rebuild it. So this is going to be an outbound, and then I'm going to go from here, and then I'm just going to drag it back here. And then I can build... One, two, and three. And again, could make it a little bit closer. This is the beauty of this, uh, how easy it is to fall off the platforms, but also how easy it is to build what you need. One, two, and easily identifying what's going on. And then we go in here and then build. And you can just, this will default to an inbound, this default to an inbound, and this will default to an inbound here. You can't build it on the uh, curves, so that's, uh, that's how it goes. And that means we now have all of these are working. They should all be saturated with what we need. There we go, that's good here. And that means we now have quite a bit of extra iron uh, plates produced. Uh, we can check our grid status here. And uh, we're kind of using a lot of uh, power, so if we could get one more of these, it would be a good idea. Maybe that's two more, yeah, because we, have, we can support it. And then we can start working our way towards uh, the other one, the Technomore, and build the same thing there. And so the equivalent has been built for the Copper, uh, I mean the Technum, Technum has been uh, done now. 
and we can then start uh, getting really significant amounts of resources here that gets a little bit easier we have uh, these two things and um, we have one location over here we have one location over here we're going to be building something in between the primary part is uh, just to start building some space here where we can start dragging into the research server so let's get the research server and also uh, allow that to go out by belts this one is producing 20 per second and uh, then each of the other ones are also producing 20 so we can get 20 plus 20 i'll dedicate one of those into science let's start by placing the new location or the new uh, part here the research lab thing here i don't know where to place it but i'll uh, just place it casually here we're going to be building some small to things here research you will need to build science packs science packs craft a few by hand to unlock your first research the assembler all right so that means the first thing we want to do is unlock an assembler once we've unlocked an assembler then we can unlock more uh, more science and then we'll take a look at it from there there you we go just we have the re research the this assembler machine will allow you to automate production of more complex items from here your top priority should be to automate the production of more science packs absolutely so we'll do that we are now building a lot of these assemblers we should get so those in here getting the first assembler in it will be there we go that will go down on the hotkey and that will be see this is kind of weird like you have to want to this is kind of one of the things that bothers me a little bit like when you just want direct from here to here then you have to have four spaces uh, generally so what is it we want? We want to make science pack. There we go. So that needs uh, mechanical parts and it needs rods. Okay, cool. And I, I want to first escape to get out of this view, but it's just a view. So can I just put things in? Yes, I can. I can put some things in. Uh, probably not all of them because I'm going to need to do something more. I will then do from here and output and from here and input. Yeah, and then a little belt there. So they are now connected. But this is not working because I don't have the machinery parts. The machinery parts are coming from... Um, yeah, that is kind of... Yeah, I guess. I don't know if that's the right place, but it kind of doesn't feel like the right place. And you're going to be output and you will be input. And then... And then it's just here. there. You're going to make machinery parts like this. And can I drop some stuff in? Yes, I can. So I drop all my iron in here and I also drop that one in here. So now we are seeing that we are getting some, we'll be using 20 plus 20 or 20 plus 16. So if I want to get a direct line into here and that will be pick up here. And that will go from just the first one. And that's the wrong way, nope to remove okay so that means rods are coming out the rest i'm going to pick up manually there you go the rods come in here become science become uh, science and the science goes over here to become the next part what do we want to research we have got the assembler let's look at basic infrastructure we can get a logistics container and then we can look at all the research tree right now and um, we can, you can see all the ones that are locked. They are locked in the demo version. What I really want to get to is the burner generator because that takes care of power so we don't have to chop trees. Also like to get conveyors uh, as well, uh, splitters as well, uh, and long hand inserters. Those are things we want to get as well as maybe some inventory size and drilling speed. Those are the ones we want to go for in this, uh, this showcase. First automation is in place. We have now automated the science park and uh, we can now start chucking along on the science as i mentioned uh, the, what i want to work towards is uh, the ignium scanner here and then later on the burner generator then we're going to go for loaders and balancers as well the other thing that we want to do now is that now that we actually have these here let's make a few of those that means we can also at this location we can now start making uh, or putting just these two into a box for now it should be uh, easy to put it into a box and uh, that will be make it just a little bit easier to access all of uh, all this for uh, easy use so it doesn't get stuck 
So I've now built a little more automation and uh, this is just to make sure that we can automate the next part that we want, that is the blocks. So we are now having automated blocks and we have automated signs. That's all I need for now. Uh, what I then need to do is I need to get the Ignium so I can get more power and I need to set up an extra mining location additionally to this because I'm kind of using all of my power, all of my uh, resources for uh, these two items right now. So, you know, I, uh, I want to get more mining. That's a little bit of infrastructure work, not a big deal, but it needs to be done. With skating up a little bit more, this is the iron plates all, the, all over again. Uh, must get more iron plates. I like this pattern, uh, one miner and three smelters, and then a belt out here. The belts, these are producing 60, the belts can handle 160, odd number, but that's it. And it just goes into uh, this location to be stored. What I want to do is I want to go to my scanner and I want to ping. And then I want to see if I can find some Ignium, hopefully not too far away. Uh, there's Ignium. There we go. So I need to find that Ignium and also make a path over there with, uh, with these. So we managed to find the Ignium right here, or the Colium, or whatever we want to call it. But we've run out of power. How typical is that? So... Um, we need to uh, to get more power in here, but this is the whole point of doing this is to get more power. So I kind of think that we'll just uh, try to get the new one, just uh, build up with power. And then let's see. So here's the thing. When you build downstairs, you have to actually build ramps. And I built a few of those there. And let's see how many we've got. That's a ramp. And then I will just do down ramp there. Okay and down ramp and down ramp and one more down ramp there and then we can just continue with the belts and i guess we can't continue with the belt because we also don't have enough belts i'm gonna make more belts um and then over here i have made some space where we can make our yeah that will be one mm. Come on, just close to that. Two and three. Each of these will produce 200 or two kill, two megawatt of power, which is enough. And here, just go this straight onwards. Yeah. And then get it inbound with some. Yeah. Here, here and here. And they will all be inbound. So now this will start working as soon as I have some. So, but I don't have it because I don't have any power and I don't have power because I don't have any of this. So what I think I'll try to do is just mine a little bit manually here and then uh, get them kickstarted. And we have the first one is in. It's uh, working, it's strained because I'm using more power than I have, but hopefully it'll be enough to get this going. And once this is going, then it'll be on the belt. This will be picked up before it runs out. Hopefully it says strained. We can look at the status. It's kind of nice. You can see we're using 2.4 and we only have two. And we also have biomass burners that are not really working because we don't have any biomass and I don't bother going out with biomass. So they might be flying a little bit. I don't know if they're flying slower than usual, but uh, they should be working. Let's see, getting down here. As soon as this one gets into the first one, it will, there's 12 here and look at that. Go, go, go. There we go. Now it's no longer strained because two of them are working. This one's consuming fuel and this is also consuming fuel. There we go. There, Whew. fuel is restored and we have nothing to worry about. We can take four of these big power plants and easily support those, but we can not quite support five, but almost. And so it's now a time to get started on can we say the real project? Uh, because of course we built these small things and I wanna show you how easy it is actually to build things in uh, in sort of in a little bit bigger scale. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to start by getting some, making a bus. And here we start here and I do this because I want to get it up in a higher level. There we go. So we may make this. This will be our level for the bus. And it'll be up here and let's see, do I have enough space in this? I eh, probably do. So what we need to do is we need to have multiple levels and here and here. Okay, we got a there and okay, not this. So what do we want? We want uh, the plates here and we want the next one here that is the 
Yeah, so let's bring them in first. So this is going to be the start of it. And uh, we're going to do it in a, the following way. Uh, let's take this location as the first. I will be removing these two. I will be placing. And this is actually how easy it actually is. Come on. Why is it? Why does it want to only want to do on that side huh there so i'm branching it off i am now going down slope here and then that will go in here now what is the first thing we want to do we want first want to get like machinery parts wire coils and electronic uh, components they will now be brought in here they will the first thing i want to do is make a storage Let's take that here and then make a box that actually builds stuff. And I will be facing the it's me here. That's good. This will be making machinery parts and you will be making machinery parts as well. And that's coming in. I will just need a, an inserter there and here. They are taken in. Great. Then they will go out on the other side, obviously, and that will be an output, and then an output, and then I'll have an input, and then an output, and then this is two. Yeah. So what this does is it brings things into here and then out again, but when the belt stops, it'll fill up the box. How much do we want? I'm gonna lock some tiles because I don't want too many of these. And this will now go over to this location up here and then I'll be getting it up the ramp and we now have one more thing on the bus that is now machinery parts on the bus now the next one I want to make is going to become from here and I can take you and you out and get that that's a little bit tricky there I think yes and I will move down ramp like that and then go inbound here. And let me just put this so I don't fall down. And I will then do this, basically the same thing. Here and here. And then storage for that location. This will be inbound uh, in in and I need to set a recipe the recipe will be coils and coils this is the real part of the building and then here I'll be outputting here I'll be outputting and I wonder if that's also outputting yes and then this will switch to input and again going over to this location, flip it, go up ramp, and down the line. Does it work? Yes, we are just getting these uh, produced at a pretty good rate. How much? How fast are they producing? They're producing at 80 per minute, so that means, yeah, it's definitely taking all of it. We'll definitely also be uh, remo uh, uh, over consuming from our belts, but hopefully these boxes will stock up before. Now, the next part is going to be a little bit more tricky because the next part we want to do actually requires the wire coils that we have right now. And then the question is, can I then bring it up and then back in again immediately or should I just branch it from here? Um, I think we can do that just for this case. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a little bit weird, I think. Mm. How close do I want it? The other ones was two lines in between yes so let's try to get two lines in between that means i'm going to take you out for a little bit and that goes yep and inbound good and up the other one that we need for here is the techno rods techno rods is the first one so that will be oh Oh, that's not really correct. All right, a little bit of an adjustment here. So what I wanted to do was make sure that here I can make a down ramp to get the technum rods in and take out, take out, and 
get that stuck. Yeah. And oh, really? I run out of belts. Uh, that's a uh, that's a problem. That's easy to fix. I think we have a lot of stuff, and we can even get more. More conveyors. More conveyors. There we go. And I will then get a box. Box will be here, like the previous one. That one, and then here and here. And again, we take outbound and go all the way over to this location and then go up and that is the outbound and the inbound over here now we need to use the long-handed inserters as well that's long-handed and that's long-handed and then the short-handed or normal one here oops are they both, both inbound? Yes, so all I need now is to change the recipe. That gets us electronics, and then get that gets us electronics. And then they need to be outbound. Out. 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 And in. Again, limit it here so it doesn't overstack. And we are now moving further down the bus, a little bit more needs to be built and let's get those sort of down here so they're all looking fine and yeah. so now we can start working on the next parts which will be kind of a little bit of a bus build because now we have the three components that we have available these three components that means we can make conveyors slopes balancers loaders um, and uh, double loaders yes so these we can make and also we can make here, 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 and that one. Those are also four things we can make. So those are basically two lanes for um, for a hub build. So that's going to be the next thing. We'll make a little bit more room and then get some more materials. More space available. And that is uh, our queue for building the next part. And the next part starts with, I guess, these two getting in here and uh, being built. Yeah, and that gets us a down slope, like that, and that will be. It is one of the things that I absolutely love about this game, and um, that isn't really obvious when watching it, is how easy it is to build in this game. Uh, and I, I really want to illustrate this right now um, by by doing this here and just showing you how actually how easy it is to get these things done. Uh, that. Uh, it's uh, it's really difficult to manage things in three dimensions, but in this case, it actually works remarkably well. Like it's really intuitive how to get things done, and uh, that that's just really enjoyable. So, what are we going to do now? We are going to take one of these. Um, that's going to be at the same level. Unfortunately, I don't think I can make it as close as the other one, because this will make... I'd like to make it conveyors, but I need the conveyors here this one is conveyors this means conveyors so i think i have to make the slope first it's weird um, and then i need to be able to get it inbound and uh, that is a little tricky i think three is the right number it's uh, the easiest way to get you're gonna go out and you're gonna go in outbound inbound and like that I wish it would be possible to sort of connect them in a cleaner way together, like two things next to each other with a single. Um, but, oh, we also have some science. Uh, what else do we want science-wise? I don't think there's much we actually want. We can go over here, do the character optimization, gets a little bit of inventory slot. So this will be making, yeah. Um, then I'm going to get another one, which is also going to be three away. The reason why is because this also needs... There. and that goes in and you will now do that one so this is now also requiring some electronic components that means i'm going to have electronics in here that goes over to this location and then we just need a ramp and then we just need that's a little Sometimes a little finicky, but not not too much considering 
It's three dimensional. Oh, not enough space in inventory. I'm sure we can do that. And yeah. So that gets us electronics inbound and electronics not going to be used here. But that means on the outbound side, we're going to have to put it into a box. That means I need to put it here. Here. And it's again a little bit weird because I can't do inserter to insert. I inserter to inserter from building to building can't, uh, can't be done. So we'll have to do this this kind of weird way. No, nope, that's wrong. I want it here. I want it here. And I want it here. What does that mean? That means I will get a long-headed inserter as an output there. Here and here. And then a short-handed inserter inbound. Uh, that's going to be an input. Here. Here. And here. Yeah. Now everything is kind of ready. So all we need is just to uh, start loading it. And I think this one was going to be only here. This is going to be both. Okay. And input. I mm, don't think that's actually necessary here. It was necessary. And then this is maybe necessary. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll clean it up afterwards. So what's happening now? Are you making it? Yes, you're making conveyors. Conveyors will now go both out here, out here, and out here. Do we get anything? In? Yes, we do. And this looks like it's slowly getting something. And that, yeah, it's actually got a few. So here, it's really important to block this one off. So we have only one stack of that. And we'll get two stacks of that. And here, nothing is done yet, but I will need to see why. And, okay, it's just because it's really expensive. How much? 4 plus 4 plus 2. Oh, it's not. Ah, right. Okay, well, that's kind of understandable. That's going to be an intake belt. Here we go. And it is now start working, being shunted into there. So, we now have belts. We have things. Uh, that's great. What we don't have is lights. Let's uh, also get some lights in here. And that will be over there. And basically, we'd want to have lights at this location for all of them. And then maybe like at every second here would be a nice location. Yeah, that seems really nice. All right, but we're not done with this yet because there's still more to do on this one. I can now go to Dosa. What do we want to make? We still want to make the inserters and the loaders. So those are still things we want to do. Oh, look at how well it fits. Yeah. And they don't need anything else than what we have, so... I can just drag this in here. I can get inbound and inbound. I can get out and out. And that goes into small belts here. And that goes into storage and storage. And then go insert in here. That's a little complicated. This will be intake and intake. That is. long-handed and short-handed don't know short-handed not the right name and let me just check what's needed for these uh plates gears and that okay so it's all three things great so i need all three and that's in in and that's in and in now we might be in a position where it doesn't really reach until the end at the, for now. But let's see. Okay, working. And this one is not working. Why not? I think it's just uh, not getting enough in inbound. It is working. Yeah, it is working. It's just lower priority. And that's why I put this at the end. Because if I'm missing a few of these, so be it. But there. That's probably what I want. There we go. That is a hop for this part. That is absolutely uh, so easy to make there. And I'm going to make uh, one more hub and that hub will be for the other things. And it'll basically be somewhat the same idea as, as this. And just to illustrate the speed by which we can do this, uh, we are going to set up recipes for these things. That is going to be here. 
that's the assemblers we can now build that is the smelters we can now build that is the drone miners we can now build and lastly it is the logistics uh, locations we can now build and what we'll do is we'll go here and that will be an input 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 and these will also be inputs here and i guess uh, this is kind of my uh, core argument about oh no i'm running out of the uh, assemblers oh there there we go not a problem or uh, inserters this is my, my core point uh, with this game is how easy it actually is or how comfortable it is to build in this game and i think that's a it's a super nice boom and like it doesn't try to do any uh, weird snapping it just uh, kind of kind of puts it where you put it and uh, that's kind of what i want uh, so what do we need now this one is also just constrained there we go this one i am gonna get it but it will be mainly feeding into the first one first so as always with a hub it's not supposed to be a production balance it is supposed to sort of uh, just keep going and you can see that it's a lot less coming in here because there's just so much being consumed down the line that's uh, obviously how it works but you know i can then start working on other things unfortunately i can't start working on other things because if we look at the tech tree uh, Oops, there we go. Oh, the entire check tree. Yes, we can do in some, some science pack too, but we can't really get into something super interesting like mining deep underground. So not really much to do here. But what I really wanted to show you with this uh, game is that how easy it is to work in, how easy it is. This is about two hours of playthrough and uh, actually exactly two hours of playthrough that we build a hub that gets us all the things that we want for uh, for our location. I don't think I could do that as fast in, uh, in Factorio. And yes, of course, there are a lot of, of corners that have been cut but hey new game and uh, it's super easy to set up later on we'll also get jetpacks moving around we can make like get all sorts of weird things maybe trains i don't know i don't know if there's trains definitely some underground mining and stuff like that you could also hollow out uh, mountains if you feel like it those uh, pixel mountains we have on the horizon so uh, it, that is uh, definitely something we can look forward to when it this game hits early access and that will be a game that i'm going to look into as well so if you are interested in uh, factory games, then you have definitely come to the right channel. So thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And of course, consider subscribing to the channel for more uh, updates on uh, yeah, mainly factory games. So until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.